So this week's edition of Flavor is a little bit different than some of the stuff that we've tried in the past. Oh, yeah. Usually we're used to tasting and eating delicious things. Right. But we're sipping today. Tell us where we are, Mike. So today we are at Commissary Bar and Barista right here on New York and Alabama Street downtown. And we're about to get into, you know, what makes them so special. So they not only are commissary, they're actually blind tiger as well. So coffee shop by day and bar by night. Pretty unique, so tell yeah. us what we're trying today. So today we're gonna try um, two lattes as well as a espresso soda. So the lattes that we have here, uh, we have a lavender walnut latte served hot. My personal favorite is yeah. the pineapple ube. It looks cool, um, it's beautiful. I hope it's not just me, but what is a ube? A ube is a form of a sweet potato okay. and it's purple. So so that is what they use to, you know, make that uh, syrup that goes into the drink. Okay, so I was most excited to try the latte, but the espresso soda, it's like I'm not really sure what flavor I'm actually tasting. Right. It's very refreshing, I will right. say that, but I espresso and soda, not things that I thought that would put together, but they've done it, they've done it well, I'm a fan. So we have graduated from coffee to something a we little did. bit stronger, depending on who you ask. Right. What do we have now? So now we are into the night menu, Blind Tiger. So commissary by day, Blind Tiger by night. We're about to try some of the specialty cocktails that they offer. Um, they also have, you know, a list of beer and wines that they have as well. But I'll let, you know, bar manager TJ come in and let us know exactly what we're about to try today. So we'll start off right here. We've got our Old Fashioned. Uh, we make that with Uncle Nearest 1856 Premium Whiskey, some aromatic bitters, orange bitters, and uh, lemon zest, lime zest, and a Luxardo cherry. And then in the middle right here, we've got the Oaxacan Burnout. Uh, that's made with uh, mezcal, lime, basil, honey. For the garnish there, we've got an orange slice wrapped around some basil with some worm salt. Ooh, what is worm salt? <laughs> yeah, so worm salt, it's the, uh, it's basically made from the larva of the worm that grows on the agave plant, okay. which is what mezcal is made from. What's it's the good. last one we have here? Uh, right here we got the buck sour. Uh, so that one is made with uh, rum, our house-made tamarind syrup lemon, and then some aromatic bitters and orange bitters as well. And then we top it off with a little ginger ale and a couple lemon slices. How is it? Pretty good, I like sweet. Yeah, so, there you go. So very good, I like that a lot. So we went from day to night pretty quickly. We tried the coffee, tried the cocktails, but really only scratched the surface of the pretty big For menu sure. that they have here. Yeah, and I mean, if you all are interested in, you know, seeing more that they have to offer, you can always check it out on my Instagram or swing by commissary or blind tiger. So day or night, you got somewhere to go and something to drink. Okay, so you heard him mention it, Blind Tiger. That's the, it's the same place, but it's the name of the bar when they switch over from the coffee shop to the evening. But it is only from Thursday through Saturday night, so from 8 to midnight. So a lot past y'all's bedtime. And maybe you can, <laughs> check, it out you can check it out on maybe on the weekend. Though. But really cool. I don't know if you heard um, when I was asking about one of the drinks um, around the rim, he was like, yeah, and that's worm salt. And I was like, worm oh, salt? Oh. Exactly. So I just wanted to know if you guys had heard of that. No, I have salt never heard worms? of that. Like, it's made from like the 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 larvae or the larva of. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so wow. Did you he tell you that before you tasted it? And I, I said, hope. I said, you try that one. And he said it was very good. It's smoky. Apparently, it's. A, I looked it up. Very popular thing. A lot of people try it. So that's just kind of the unique things that they have there. So right. I learned from your piece that an ube yes. is a, is one of those purple sweet potatoes. Exactly. I always call them purple sweet potatoes. See, see there are a lot of good things there. So cool place to try out for Thank sure. Thank you.